I want to talk today about work-life balance because this is a phrase that is so commonly used and that you read about a lot, that you hear a lot of people talking about, and it kind of makes sense. You know, a lot of people work too much, a lot of people spend a lot of energy on their work, and a lot of people spend a lot of time trying to build the perfect career. And you'll hear a lot of these people say, oh, I, I really should watch out for my work-life balance though, or uh, oh, my firm has really good work-life balance. And um, what does that mean? I don't know what it means. I don't think it's very sensible at all. I don't think it makes any sense to think about the distinction between your work and your life, right? It's like there is sort of a work you and there is a life you and work you is supporting life you. But who is this work you and who is this life you? Those are not two different people. They're the same person. It's you. And in your life, you do many things, right? Y you probably think of them as sort of hobbies and, and, and work. Right? But it, it doesn't make sense to think about it this way. You do many things. Some of those things generate value for others in which return, you know, in return for which you get value from those people, right? Usually that's money. Usually you do something for other people and you get value, money back, and that's your work, right? But this is just one of the things you do in your life. So if, if anything, work is a subset of life, right? It's not some separate thing. But because there are so many things you do in your life, right? You want to kind of coordinate between all of them. You don't just want to coordinate with, between work and those other things, right? To be happy, it helps to have your entire life integrated in a way, right? So that you're doing things that are in alignment with your values, so that you're doing things that you like. It doesn't make sense to think of this work you who is sort of slaving away, doing things that you don't really like, just so that life you can then have a little fun. No, right? Arrange your life in such a way that everything fits together neatly. It just makes everything easier. So I really hate talking about work-life balance. Wish we wouldn't do it. I wish we instead would talk about, hey, what are some things that we value, right? I mean, what are things that you value? For example, I really value competence. I really like being good at stuff. Of course, being good at stuff doesn't happen automatically, right? So what it usually translates into is that I enjoy learning. It's one of the things that I like the most, to get the most happiness out of is just learning how to do new things. For you, what you care about may be very different. And that's all right, everybody has different values. But let's talk about that. Let's not talk about does this job or does this, does this particular industry that you have a business in, does it have good work-life balance? I don't know what that means. It's just a, a vague way of not having to address the real issues. The better question to ask is, does it support your values? Does it allow you to do things that make you happy? Does it allow you to do things that you enjoy doing? Those are the questions you should ask. And when we talk about work-life balance, it quickly devolves into how many vacation days do you get? You know, do you have to work a lot of overtime? And yeah, of course those things are kind of interesting, but they're very marginal, right? You have to think bigger. Think about how does this, you know, how is, how is this job that you're doing or how is the way that you're creating value for other people in return for which you get value, how does that fit into your broader life goals and into your broader happiness? That's what you should think about. So next time someone talks about work-life balance, ask what they mean by it. And also ask yourself, what does it mean for me? And how can I be happier by focusing on what I value and what I care about rather than on how many vacation days I'm going to get? Bye.